Employees of Arconic in Lafayette are saying their jobs are on the line after recent decisions made by the company. News 18's Marvin Bills spoke with a few of those workers today. The people you see behind me aren't having a picnic, they're picketing. And organizers I spoke with today tell me they're fighting for their jobs. It's really been hard to swallow. Workers for Arconic stood outside for nearly 10 hours with a message, one they hope to convey to the company. They've contracted out work in two major departments, and we have people laid off. And the impact is not only to our membership, but also to the Lafayette community. Spencer Buchanan has worked at Arconic for more than 25 years, and he's the president of USW Local 115, which is the labor union that represents many workers at Arconic. We have roughly 100 people uh, laid off to the street. Uh, there could be more reductions. Buchanan says the company is outsourcing jobs and claims it's to save costs, but it's leaving dozens of workers jobless. I've never seen anything like what they're doing now. Vice President of USW Local 115, Scott Wolandowski, says it seemed to be a gradual move for the company. We have, we're on reduced hours. We could, usually we have overtime on the weekends. Our maintenance department could leave on the weekend on Friday, drive by the place on the weekend and see our outside con out, their outside contractors in here doing their work, and it's just not right. Among the picketers was retired Arconic employee Dwayne Lord, who after being with the company for 23 years, retired last November. When they started outsourcing the metal and not pouring it in our department, which was the ingot department, I figured the writing was on the wall. It's time for me to get out of here because I couldn't support this anymore. Organizers tell me they plan on having more events to get the word out on what they say is happening at Arconic. In Lafayette, Marvin Bills, News 18. And Arconic released a statement to News 18 today responding to those workers. It says, as always, our goal is to continue to perform well as a team in maintaining a safe work environment and producing high-strength aluminum products for our customers. The company has openly communicated with the union and followed the collectively bargained agreements on all workplace issues and will continue to do so. The company also recognizes and respects the union's right to conduct informational picketing.